how you guys doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about Wendy Williams and this whole PR stunt that her um, manager, her publicist, is pulling on uh, social media. Now, today we woke up with news that the mother-in-law, Wendy Williams' mother-in-law, which is Kevin's mother, has supposedly and allegedly witnessed Kevin being brutal, being physical, and being abusive, and uh, pushing Wendy down a staircase of their residence. Now, with this being said, we all know that Wendy Williams is in the hospital right now. They don't give two Fs for the uh, the Kevin's any of Kevin's in laws because we've done seen all the all the beef and the drama. And if you notice, you take a really like uh, just take a step back and you really pay attention to all these rumors. What they're doing is they're recirculating. I think with the my my whole way of looking at this is like they want to keep popping up with these old stories to keep Wendy relevant so this one when she comes back is like hey girl we've missed you it's just like a recap for all of us fans that's what it is it's like remember when or if you didn't know this happened and then you're like oh my god this happened well, what it is is you ain't never heard that story before okay so welcome to social media and the new a uh, way that, that, that uh, news is perceived, the way it's taken, the way it's spilled. And let me tell you something, I have parked my car down many a streets of YouTube and I'm running into the same story. It's like everybody's piggybacking off of the mother-in-law, but if you do your homework, none of that even happened. So the thing is, um, Wendy Williams got a heck of a team, you know, good for her. She's making sure that they always have something to say about her. News is going to drop, a new story is going to, you know, is going to drop. So they want you know everyone to be on their p's and q's and be like what's going on with wendy today well if y'all know she in a hospital she's gonna be there for a little while she's already let all of her fans know that she's gonna take a hiatus to the show and there's gonna be a stand in in the meantime the story about the mom in law is just something different it kind of takes the story off of kevin so much not only that but it gives him a great deal of time to pack up and get on right so Good looking out, Wendy's PR team. She's no dummy, okay? She's been in this business for a good while. And as we can see, she's got a, she's got a track record of, of many others trying to be just like her, okay? And me, specifically, I'd like to be more of an Oprah. You know what I mean? Not, Wendy Williams a little bit easier to step down, you know? I'm more of an Oprah girl. So, anywho, thank you so much for watching. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. And what's your perspective on the, all this? Were you actually falling for it? I mean, come on now. If you want to know about somebody, you can always Google it. You can always, don't just look at the first story, you guys. Just a little tip, okay? Read like all of them, okay? Until it says at the very bottom of Google uh, page two, okay? And then just kind of read through those. And what you want to do is get like a precise date, or you know what I mean? An estimated date of when these things happen. But if you are a hardcore Wendy Williams fan, then you know what's happened, when it happens, how it happened. And if it's going to resurface again, you want to be that one that goes, I know that already happened. So there you go, and there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, put your thoughts in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you guys. I am how I see it, and I do want you guys to subscribe to the channel. Please sign up for notifications. I will be back around, you know, probably sooner than later. But thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one.